Great. So welcome everyone to our mobility and flexibility class. So this class will be a little bit more low impact, um, less demanding on the body as far as bringing our heart rate up. Um, so um, with that being said, um, pretty light class. We'll start here on the chair. Uh, we'll do some stand-up exercises. Um, I do want to touch up on most of the muscle groups of our body and our joints. So, um, so yeah, so we'll need a chair, yoga mat, have a water nearby, and also for our arches, if you could have a small little towel or rag, that'd be great as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. I'll come and get a little bit closer because our first movements are working on our face. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. So this one's gonna be for our jaw, so we could get those muscles, tendons, uh, skin a little bit tighter. So we wanna open our mouth as wide as we can. And then we're gonna look up. And once we're looking up already, that's when we wanna close our jaw. We're gonna bring our chin towards our nose. We should feel a nice stretch happening here, okay? So we're gonna do 12 of those. Ready? Go ahead. And if you guys do have any requests of uh, muscle groups that you want to work out or stretch, I mean, um, just go ahead and put that on the chat. Thank you, Martin Sharice. Good morning. And then um, just continue doing that. So. And then, Sharice, um, are you, does the video quality look a little bit better? Or is what? It the, the quality? Um, the same? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, it looked fine. It looks okay. like there's a light above you or a little glare, but, you know, I okay. can see okay. you. Got it. Okay. There's a, a setting on Zoom that... Um, here. Okay, yeah, this is the light. Yeah, that, that's regular. That's normal. I can see you. You're fine. Okay, yeah, there's a setting that went from regular video to HD. So I clicked on HD, but I don't think it made a difference. So, okay. I don't see a difference. Okay. So, again, yeah, getting the skin a little bit tighter here. Okay, so next we're going to inhale through our nose, exhale through our mouth. And try to exhale through a little windpipe, okay, not a huge gasp, just a little windpipe. So inhale for about three seconds, exhale for about eight seconds. Should be recording a little tighter. Do about two more. And again, just a warning, if you're coming to this class to get a good sweat, I'm sorry to disappoint you that that won't be happening today. We're just working on our joints and our muscles, just stretching that and working on our joints. Okay, great. All right, so now we're just gonna draw small lines from our earlobes down to the end of our lips. And we're just maybe with the fingertips of one or two of your fingers, just soft lines. Again, we're just promoting some gentle blood flow to that area. So I'm a little bit excited today. My mom is coming down. And she's going to be staying with us for a little while. So, yeah, we get some help now at home with the babies. So. All right, now let's draw with our pinkies, uh, with the uh, soft part of our tips. 
we're going to just draw from the end of our eyes to the end of our lips. Almost like if we're crying. So the baby woke up at 3.45 this morning. And he wanted to be up for the next hour and a half. So, yeah. So, I, so after putting him back to bed, I stayed in bed maybe until about 7.30. And I just got up. But, <laughs> yeah. But, I've heard that one. Yeah, I had a, a meeting. Okay, so great. So now we're going to go ahead and just puff up our cheeks with air. Okay, so we want to just kind of swish air from one side of our cheeks to the other. So just puff it up, stretching the skin. Good morning. And again, we just want to stretch that skin. It could get a little bit uncomfortable or really tiresome in that area, but again, that's what we're trying to promote. If there's a little bit of fatigue going on, um, that's that's good because you're working out that area, which means after you're done, you're going to get some blood flow to that area too. Very good. Awesome. Okay. Um, now we're going to go ahead and start with our next stretches, okay? A lot of these are going to be familiar. We do them on our warm up, um, but we're going to have some additional ones. So gently just look left to right. Yeah, yesterday evening I, I had a meeting um, and you know I was going to come home a little bit later, but not too late, around 8.30. So I'm calling to check up how the baby, how everyone's getting in. My wife is telling me she's putting the baby to sleep at around 8.30. And um, he's usually napping or up and about. So he'll go to bed at around 10 or 10.30, um, up and down. So I knew, I was just doing the math up and down there, um, that if he's going to bed at 8.30, instead of waking up at 6, he's going to wake up earlier. And sure enough, yeah, he woke up at 8 at 345 this morning so <laughs> I see him falling asleep sometimes like around 8 30 8 45 and I just start playing with him just make sure he doesn't fall asleep because I know what that means and next some next circles again if you folks have a request just let me know if you want to work on the shoulders a little bit more, on your back, on your hips. This is the class where I don't think anyone minds spending a little bit extra time on a muscle group. All right, reverse, change directions. A little tight right neck right now. All right, great. Let's go ahead and sit on our left hand, just so we can secure that left shoulder. Bring your right hand over your head and just pull gently. Switch. Forgot to send the reminder email. 
people that we had class this morning. And just started playing the videos back up on, onto the YouTube channel. And like I said, usually some of these videos, you know, are only viewed by the people that request them. So sometimes there's five or 10 views. And I just looked and Monday's, Monday morning's video has almost 400 views. And I have no idea <laughs> who's watching them. Um, so. Whoever's watching them is getting healthy though. So. All right, very good. Right. Awesome. All right, now we're gonna work on our upper back. Okay, so you're gonna go here and then drop your chin and then reach forward. Okay, so again, arms in front of him. And then you're gonna retract. And then you're going to get it pushed out, down, and then push it in. We'll do two more of those. Out, down, push. Again, out, down, push. Awesome. Okay. Right, we're just going to continue to work our way down our body, our joints. So just reach up to the sky. So I've had a few people ask me what I'm going to ask for for Father's Day. It's my first Father's Day, so I don't know. I mean, there's nothing I really want, at, at least materialistic-wise. And um, I don't know, I, I've asked a couple of dads, I asked a couple of my male clients, and they're like, I always ask for food. <laughs> so, so maybe that's what I'll go for. But if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. I mean, right? A massage, rest, sleep. Yeah. But I feel selfish, you know, when like sleeping in, um, especially if I hear the baby crying in the back or something. But no. I was, no. <laughs> no guilt. My son's that a few times he'll like when I was babysitting, he goes, Do you care if I sneak out? I, I got a gift card, uh, my, you know, for a massage, a Thai massage. Yeah, here. Go ahead. Yeah. So, okay, thanks. Nice. That's great. Yeah. shoulders. So, this one's and they all for yourself. We found a baby. Yeah. <laughs> See, it, it's funny because I'm for massages. I've only really gone when I've had like an injury or something tight. I mean, it's like a deep tissue massage. Um, and then my wife, any. Any chance, well, I don't, let's just say anytime I'm not doing anything, she's like, you want to rub my shoulders? Give me a massage. So, um, so like she's huge on massages. Um, but for me, it's like, oh, my calf is really tight. I should get that rubbed out. <laughs> so let's go up and down now. Um, so, so, yeah, but maybe, maybe I should give it a try. Or, you know, the, uh, the foot massage, too, is kind of fun. Oh. They're not rubbing all over you, but they kind of get your neck. Yeah. Kind of, um, you know, do your feet really good. And uh, every time I go with Greg, he, he falls asleep. He ends uh, up snoring in the <laughs> session. That's awesome. And he's so relaxed. He loves it. He goes, Oh, my feet. He's got his feet. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, we're, we're going to continue on the shoulders for a bit. So we're going to keep the elbow up. This, uh, yeah, then my little, my, my coach, he's so funny. We go through all these exercises and he just chats through the whole thing. You know, he's a new dad. And sometimes he goes and, and brings the, the, the baby in to show everybody. <laughs> Terry, you're unmuted. I can hear all of that. Oh, <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm oh, I'm not on mute. 
I'm explain I'm explaining to the infusion nurse. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'm glad you okay. you weren't talking smack about me. <laughs> That's it's good. Okay, it's I'll go on mute now. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, you have another coach? <laughs> Baby? No, you're the only one. You're my yeah. All right, all right. I'm true to you forever. <laughs> yeah. right. I, I love like, that. That was good. I, no, I, I thought she was talking to me. I was like, wait, you you? I'm sure the nurse likes it too. It's good. <laughs> I don't know. Since I'm a nurse too, so. <laughs> That's good fine. One. All right, awesome. Let's go with shoulder press. So again, just a gliding up and down motion. I should have let her join, you know, what else she would have said. <laughs> we should put on your shoulders, on your back. All right, awesome. Okay, now we're gonna work on, we still, I don't know about you guys, but my shoulders got a little bit tired from doing so many shoulders right now. So give our shoulders a little bit of a break, but we still have more for them. So we're gonna work on our elbows now. So let's just go some mobility on our elbows to just up and down. I want you to say too much information or something. <laughs> Sounds normal to me. Yeah. <laughs> right up my field. Let's go cross curls. Just bring your hands to your opposite chest. Better enjoy this uh, rest. Uh, you you were supposed to get it before you had the baby. Remember, we all told you get your rest. Yeah, yeah, I know. Because you won't get it anymore. And then, um, they, and before they start walking and climbing, <laughs> let's put our hands up facing the camera and then just up and down this way. I know. I think I I was trying not to be too negative about you know the everything that I was hearing, and about eighty percent of the people were like try to sleep as much as possible. But I chose to only listen to the other 20. I was like, it's not that bad. You'll be okay. And yeah, I mean, it's gotten a little bit better, but yeah, it's, I, I'm, I'm one who if I have a chance for a nap. Like I, I just, I see my body like a machine. So I'm like, if I don't have anything to do, I'm gonna rest. If, you know, I'm gonna try to eat healthy stuff, whatever it is, but, um. So I try to ignore it a little bit, but yeah, like there's some days I could I could tell and I feel it that it's it's a little bit more challenging than others. So yeah, so let's go ahead and bring our elbows here up, and then we're gonna separate. So I think my son's little peace time, it you know, a five or ten minute cat nap or something. Sometimes if he's if uh, he gets a chance, but his he looks forward to just doing cooking his meal and sitting down to eat. That's his break. Yeah, likes his food. He tries to stay focused on you know his meal when he gets a chance to do it. Yeah, that's that's, that's it. That's his break. His yeah, food. 
I've, I've fallen off that. I mean, at least, of course, it's a baby right now. But let's bring that right elbow in and then just fade it out. Um, making attempts at getting back into it. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, I want to say I was probably, because around Christmas time, that was my heaviest weight I've ever been. You know, I've always hovered around 150 to 160. And I was 192 around Christmas. And, um, but again, that was kind of part of the plan. You know, there's like a, a bulking program to that. And, um, and the plan after that was to come back down to about 165, uh, but mainly of, you know, lean body, well, lean muscle mass and reduce some body fat. And I got to about 176 and I was there for about three months. Um, because the baby came and, but I was able to lose a good 15 pounds in the first two months of the year. And then, um, yeah, I've just been a little bit more careful and, um, just more disciplined. I, and I think over the last few weeks, I've lost maybe another three pounds. So I think, um, I just got to be consistent and it'll, it'll start all over again. So, but let's go ahead. I'm just spinning on this chair. Um, let's reach up. And then we're going to reach as high as we can in front of us without your hips coming off the chair. We don't want to do this here. Okay. Just going to keep your hips down all the way down and then back. And again, we'll do about eight of these. Very good. All right, now we're going to go ahead and start working down to our hands and our wrists. Okay, so just going to work on the wrist, just up and down, just working on both. Actually, emphasize a little bit more on the right hand. Just allow that wrist to come down. All right, let's push down on that hand. So welcome everyone, got more people coming in. All right, very good. Now let's bring every finger to the center of your hand and try to do it individually. And I would almost um, I want to have you bring those fingers towards the center of your hand without trying to bend at each knuckle. So just trying to keep that finger straight. So we're working on that joint that's closest to the palm, that finger. That makes sense. All right, now we're going to bring each finger to the center of our hand, but now we're going to try to bend at every joint, okay? So every knuckle, you want to kind of turn so your, your fingers should be curled up coming to the center of your hand. So Greg made it sound like you guys had a, we're gonna have an awesome dinner on Monday. Um, Let's switch hands. Which, which Monday, this? Yeah, so a Monday that just passed. I think he said it was like the, I don't know if it was an Indian dish or. Oh, the kitchery. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's it's just really, um, yeah, it's just got a lot of uh, you know just vegetables and he makes it. He got he kind of mastered it. We were getting it from this place and he was determined to learn how to do it. And he kept trying. So sometimes it comes out different, but usually you just let it simmer. And uh, I think it's got like mung beans and zucchini carrots. It's okay. just a kind of a goulash thing, but it's really light. It's good. It's healthy. Bring each finger in. 
Okay. And you eat that over rice or? No, it's just, uh, it's just kind of a, you can, sometimes we'll put like, um, you know, like meatballs in it or something. You can okay. eat it. I like to put stuff in it. But it's just kind of a bland like dish, or you can put more spice in it. We kind of make ours bland, but okay. you know, yeah. yeah, it's it's supposed to be good on your stomach. Um, I have fiber, it sounds like. Yeah. Um, Let's curl every knuckle in. Awesome. Cool. Oh yeah, he was making that. I forgot about that. Yeah, he's he's. <laughs> He's good at cooking fast. I could I oh. cook some stuff better than him with veggies, and he's, you know, we got our. I I'm good at cleaning up the mess. <laughs> That's me too, now. So. He made more fried rice last night. I didn't eat any, <laughs> but my daughter came over and oh, she she was like, "Ooh, this is good." Yeah, yeah. She loves the kitchery too, so she took some home. Let's get some water right now. Take a little minute break. All right, so we'll go back on the chair. I'm gonna work on our hips now. Let me just check the chat. Okay, so yeah, if you guys do need the um, knees and shoulders, okay, that's good. Well do, Miss Libby. Okay, so again, um, I had some people already request the video link, so. Um, if you want that video as well, to we'll do this one later, just go ahead and leave your email address on the chat. So, all right, let's go ahead and bring in your right heel on that left knee. I know for some folks, this might be a challenge alone here. So if that is, just try to keep your leg elevated by holding it up with your hands. So. I had a, a random voicemail right now that, you know, I don't really get voicemails and when I do, it's usually a recruit, um, it's usually a recruit or someone who has a question about the school. Um, but it was like a spam number and it was from Verizon. And um, last night I got an email from Verizon saying that I could get a certain amount, a quantity, I think it was like $300 off some smartphone. Let's push down on this name. And it's a phone that I've been wanting for a while. Um, but of course, phones now are like silly expensive. And it's like buying a new laptop pretty much, you know. And a laptop's going to last you several years in a phone. I feel like they almost um, make them that they start breaking down within two years, right? So, um, so I have my phone. This summer will be four years with it. And, you know, and right now it's doing this thing. Let's bring that knee up. It's doing this thing when I try to turn it off or turn the, the screen off, it goes to camera mode. And I have to do it several times. And if I forget and just put it on my pocket, my, my pocket starts burning me for some reason. And it's because the camera's been on for like 30 minutes. And um, so, you know, so yesterday when I got that email, I put the phone on the shopping cart, but I never completed the purchase. So right now Verizon called me like, hey, we noticed you left something on your shopping cart. Do you want to finish that? 
So I'm just like, man, like these guys, like let's switch, like they're on it. But um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna use my phone until it, it like just disintegrates pretty much because that's that's a too much now. I'm like, oh, formula costs this much, and I was like. So containers of formula, it's very expensive. But um, yeah, I was like, I could go without a phone for a bit, or not without a phone, but without a new phone. Sometimes they have like deals where like if you sign up for a different company, then you can get a free phone. Just be yeah. on the lookout for that. There were some good deals at the beginning of the year for that. That's how I got my phone. Um, Costco has the phones and you know, if you switch your carrier, you can switch and then you can go back to your other one sometimes. Uh, so sometimes you, yeah, you, you wait for the kind of the deals. I think uh, Costco sometimes has all, a lot of the phones. And Yeah, uh, I, I actually got my mom's phone last time she was here. We, we, we had the same plan. So it's like the family plan. And yeah, so I got her, I think when I got my phone, I got like the low tier version. Let's bring that knee up. It's the Google on um, my phone. And I got the version that was $400. And I think the the pro edition was like 800. So I figured, you know, I was like, okay, she needs a new phone. So I went to go get her. And this, I got this, my phone almost four years ago. So we went maybe, she was here in March. So we went in March and my phone from you know, that same phone was still the same price three years later. Um, and it was, we got it at Costco, and I was like, are you serious? Like, it hasn't gone down at all? And they're like, no, because it's it's already cheap, and it's a it's a good phone, and it's already at a discounted price. So I'm like, oh, man, like, you know, I was kind of like a bummer. So um, so anyways, uh, now we're going to do leg extensions, so let's go ahead and bring that recline and um so the one that i was looking at last night it's the newest model and and with the promotion that they sent me that verizon sent me um it would be the same price as the phone that my mom just got three months or yeah two three months ago but um again when it comes to myself i'm i'm probably one of the cheapest people <laughs> when it comes to like materialistic things so I'm like, oh, I just, I'll hold on to my phone maybe. And yeah, I'm, maybe now, I'll, I'll, I'll drop it face down on purpose just to get a new phone. Now you need to talk to Greg. He really battles with, uh, uh, he, he, he had a little, he this goes after him when it, his bill changes. And especially Verizon, we had a little. Oh yeah. That's, yesterday that's... and uh, he was pissed and he, he, he got someone to call him back after raising a fit, and uh, the guy was really nice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sometimes <laughs> out of oh, nowhere, no. you'll see like a 15 or $25 increase. Right. If you're not paying attention, then... Then calls, he's on the phone. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I remember, I, I think I've noticed yeah. it with Netflix a lot. Um, yeah. I think Netflix had like the most basic plan and um, great, so we're gonna transition to just um, hip raises or leg raises actually. So again, same position, but now we're gonna keep our legs straight, just up and down. So, I mean, I remember, and this was, I probably had Netflix for about 10 years now, but I think, you know, in college was probably about six or $7 a month. And then I feel like every year they sneak in a dollar in there and then now it's like 15 or 16. And yeah, I might just stop yeah, it. Keep bugging them. Yeah, so. And that's the same when I had, I think, XM radio with my car. Let's switch. Um, I think month, I had one or two years for free. And then after I started getting like this $13 charge and you know, and at the same time, I think I, I had Spotify on my phone. And so I was paying $5 for Spotify, 13 for XM Radio. So I call XM Radio and I tell them, like, hey, can you guys cancel this? Like, you know, 
and um, they weren't too happy. And long story short, is they were willing to drop their price from thirteen dollars all the way to two dollars. Yeah. Um, yeah, from thirteen to two. Let's bring that me up. And I, um, you know, I, I still refuse because I all I need is my Spotify has. It, I like their system. Their I guess their view their platform a little bit better. And uh, yes, yeah, so we're just bringing that knee out, opening the hips. And I forget the rain class in the sense you're just talking. But um, <laughs> so just opening the hips. And yeah, they're, um, you know, all I have to do is get the auxiliary cable from my phone to the car. And I don't need XM radio. So yeah. yeah, I have, I think, I have my friends log in for Disney Plus. Um, my other friends log in for HBO. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, like, I'm, I'm sure, you're, you know, when they see, because it also tells you, let's switch, um, you know, like, oh, this is suggested for you um, based on your viewership. So I'm sure, like, for a couple of my friends, I'm, like, changing their algorithm because I'm watching something else that they typically don't watch. But, yeah, it's, some of these subscriptions are, are a bit silly. Yeah, yeah it's a... Every year when my Sirius radio uh, subscription starts to come due, I call them and tell them I'm going to cancel because <laughs> the price is too high. So they always give me this huge yeah. discount to renew. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. it's on my calendar to just, you know, call them <laughs> yeah. and say, you know, I can't afford it anymore. Yeah. They always work. They'll deal. Thank you for the newspapers. Um, oh, newspapers too? Yeah, we get the Wall Street Journal and it's at a special rate and they tell you, okay, uh, this is a six month prescription uh, subscription. So then you call at the end of six months, say, oh, I want to, I want to terminate it, you know, because it's yeah. too expensive. Yeah. Oh, we'll see what we can do. Okay. Oh, they could always do something. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then one day, I knew you could negotiate with the newspaper. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Yeah. All right, tell us up. Probably everybody. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Maybe Costco. <laughs> I, I forget who it was. I think it may have been Amazon. Um, I had, I forget what Prime, I don't know if I had like the student Prime or something, um, but it was only maybe five, I don't know, something cheap. And then it expired, and um, you know, and I think for their subscription, they they charge you, or you get a better deal if you pay up front for the whole year. Um, so there was like this charge for a hundred and thirty dollars or something, and uh -huh. um, you know, I had Prime and my wife had Prime, so it made no sense why both of us should have yeah. it. Um, so so yeah, so I was just like, can you guys give me a better deal? And they're like, you know. And I was like, are you sure? And then you're like, yeah. Like, even if you try to talk to a manager, it's not going to happen. So I was like, all right, I'm not even, I'll just cancel it. Uh -huh. Yeah, you only need one. Yeah, and I mean, there was, I think, let's find a, a, a golf ball or a tennis ball, whatever it is that you may have. Don't ball, tennis ball, have a lacrosse ball here. They've got a good streaming service too, Prime Video. Right, uh, I think that's something that I oversaw a lot too because I just, you know, went for the free shipping. But yeah, like I think there's this worth it if you're if you're gonna use their streaming. So let's go back and forth. Or my, my friend, um, every every time he gets home from work, um, he'll send me a picture of Amazon packages that's on his front door because his wife works from home. And um, yeah, I think. Every day, there's at least one, two, three packages that I get a picture of. <laughs> just like, oh man, we're just gonna roll back and forth. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, just look for a little tender spot. Right now, I'm doing renovation in my house, so I have that. But I'm doing renovation, <laughs> and so I'm like, what was this that I ordered? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. But my neighbors across the street are young. They're like in their like 
early thirties or late twenties. And they every week have their entire recycling over full with Amazon boxes. Uh, so boxes. I don't know what they're ordering, but every week their, their recycling is overflowing. And I know because I'm trying to look for extra trash space for my boxes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's find a tender spot and let's push down near it. Yeah, that's how it was. I mean, I couldn't imagine if Amazon Prime was a thing when I was in college with three other roommates. Like, there'd be a package all the time. So. It's funny, I think, um, who showed me, one of my students showed me that, um, let's switch, that Taco Bell has an app, uh, a subscription app that you could pay, I think, if you pay, I believe, $10 a month, you could go every day and get a burrito, uh, get a taco every day. Um, so, you know. Healthy. I'm sorry? Healthy. Wow. Healthy. <laughs> yeah. So. I mean, for, for a high school kid or a yeah. college kid who's broke, you know, it could be a good thing. Because yeah. I think before those tacos used to be like 80 cents. Now they're like $2. Wow. So if you could pay $10 for 30 tacos, you know, at least yeah. that's probably not the best thing for you. Um, but, you know, if you're just thinking to survive, you know. But, right. um, and I think it comes with other perks, but... Um, yeah, and then there's subscriptions for everything. I mean, you just go online and I think I had a subscription when, I think for a little, for a few months, I cared about the, um, and I probably should care, but like for, for creams for the face and stuff like that, I had some huge bags under my eyes when I was working 70 hours a week. Um, let's go ahead and grab a small towel. Do you guys have that nearby? We're going to work on our arches now. Strengthening our arches. But um, yeah, I had a subscription for this company that would send me different creams, facial creams. Um, what else? I think I've seen some for like steaks. You get a certain amount of steaks, uh, you know, per month. Um, it's just, yeah, there's just everything. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and again, grip a little rag, this one. It's stuck to the floor, so it's going to work a little bit better. So drop it and try to spread it with your toes. Everyone is good. Hey, good morning, Ella. Again, this is strengthening our arches. Whatever stranger watches this on YouTube is going to be really confused by our conversations. I'm be like, I thought this is a stretching class. Again, my apologies, but yeah, sometimes these slow stretches are not the most exciting, so we just start talking. Right. Great. All right, that should do it for our, oh, our chair exercises, but we will use our chair. Let's use our chair for one more. So this would be our hip stretch. So. Depending on how mobile and flexible you are, you might want to use the smaller area of your chair or the taller, and you're just going to hold on to something. I have a kind of piece of furniture here. I'm just going to bring my leg over and back. Okay, if that's too high, then do that motion with this bottom part of the chair, okay? So let's go with 10, over, 10, backwards.
if Chipotle had some type of subscription, I would definitely join. Um, so that, that would benefit me. I think a good amount of my student loans in college is probably due to Chipotle. I was like, I was either eating Chipotle or like a can of chili with white rice. Like, it was like two spectrums, like nothing in between. I'm good. Are we going to switch legs? Okay, so do your opposite leg now. We'll do this, then we'll take a two minute break. Let's take a two minute break, gain a phone call about what terminal my mom's flying into. So I gotta make a quick phone call. Be right back. Okay, sorry about that. We'll be good to go. All right, so we're going to do some stand up stretches now before we transition to the floor. All right, so if you guys have a broom or a large pole, have a foam roller here. I've used a fishing rod, an umbrella, just a stick could work. Okay, we use that. So. 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just start side to side right here, left to right. All right, we're gonna focus on that left shoulder a little bit more. So just start bringing that left shoulder higher up. All right, now 30 degrees forward. At six degrees. Ninety degrees, right in front of me. Come back. All right, here. Now it's around that right shoulder now. Keep going. I'm just going to turn on the fan because it's getting a little warm in here. Sorry if it's a little loud. I'll try to speak up a little bit more. 30 degrees forward. Ninety. Right back. Keep going back. Reverse. So get back here and your back. All right, now up and down. Now we're going to go back. Now 
All righty. Okay. You can put the foam back off to the side. You can do some stand up stretches. Then we'll transition to the floor. Okay, so just stand up here. And we're going to go with that circle. So just cut left, come across, come back. Go with big pillow hoops now, some white stands, and then just big hip circles. Reverse. Very good. All right, and then we'll go with hip openers before we transition to the floor. So just be up, down, forward, out, down. All right, very good. All right, let's grab the yoga mat. Set it up on the floor. Okay. So we're here, we're going to be on our fours, Then we're going to do the cat cow, so again, your, your wrists right below your shoulders, knees right below your hips, looking down, you're going to arch up, you're going to arch down, and again, inhale on your way up, exhale on your way down. All right, now we're gonna arch up and bring your glutes towards your heels. Okay. 
Put your arms in front of you to reach. Drop your elbows. Reset. Now we're going to shuffle over to your left side. Your knees don't move, only your hands. Okay, and then you're going to arch up again and bring your glutes to your heels. Just feel that stretch on your right side now. Set. Transition to your right side now. Get arch up, come back down. Reset. Okay, we're going to go with our last stretch here. This is going to be the book openers. Okay, so again, we're on our side here, like a Jane Fonda. Right arm is in front of me. Left arm's on top. I'm going to tuck in my knees a little bit. And without moving my hips, my knees, or my feet, I'm going to separate my hands. I'm going to follow my hands with my eyes. And so I bring my hand all the way back behind me and both hands are making contact and again if you don't get your hand to touch behind you on your first time um you might get it as you continue Just stretch out that back that chest remember not to have your knees or feet leave the ground We'll do about 10 of these on each side. We're going to switch the sides. And second, those knees, stack those hands. And you're going to separate and follow your hands.
through your breathing. Last one. All right, very good. You want to do one more with me, extra credit. Um, we'll go ahead and do the deep squat stretch. So again, just wide stance. We're just gonna drop our hips as well as we can. Kind of step between our knees. And then try to separate your knees with your elbows. We're just gonna hold this for about a minute or so. All right, you can just rise up, get out of that stretch. Great workout, I will end the recording.